So all you see for the past 10 seconds is a normal woman, right? Just doing a thing in the subway, putting something in the bag, right? Okay, just for a split second, what do you think would happen to this woman in the subway here, right? Just keep watching the video and you'll be surprised to, to know that some crazy funky things happen. And I'm, I'm pretty sure more of this happened, but not all of them are caught on camera, but maybe this one was, and just watch. Whenever anything enters your body, and you see it in her, through her mouth, you see that clearly, um, they want to get that body hurt. They want to damage it in some way. So her turning to the guy next to her and she's slugging him and she's punching him and punching him, eventually he's going to get angry. And that's kind of what happened, but it quit as soon as he got angry. And she starts to walk away, but you see him going after her. For what intent, we really don't know. But you hear a girl say, stop, don't, she's probably possessed. Okay. So, um, what's best describe what you've just seen or what you've just witnessed? Because for me, there's literally maybe demon possession. It looks like what we see in the movies, though. But, um... If it, I do, do you really think he's acting? Because a lot of crazy stuff happened in the subway, a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of crazy stuff happening there. Um, some weeks ago, kind of saw a man doing some weird thing with, with the back of a crown. I was, I was shocked. But um, this one is a, to a whole new level entirely. Because one thing I've noticed about um, demon possession is that maybe you've tampered with something and and that you ought not to tamper with only going to where this woman has been to or who this woman has offended maybe in the past before something like this would happen to her and the very next thing we see her doing was attack that man in the subway and i'm pretty sure that man don't know what got into this woman because if that man actually knows what i've gotten into this woman i don't think he would want to engage her in a fight to be honest because when someone is possessed Man, the last thing one would do with that person is engaging that person with, in a fight without calling the blood of Jesus first. I mean, but to be honest, even before I, I, I start calling the blood of Jesus, I've taken to my heels already, man. I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm just out. I don't care if the train is moving, man. I'm out of that place. Because one thing I know about demon possession is that it can affect anybody around that, that vicinity. And we, we don't know maybe there are one or two or three or legions inside her already. Yeah. If there's anything Hollywood has taught us is that uh, they can be many. And also the Bible has also um, said something similar that demons can be many. So just tell me what you think in the description below and I would love to hear from you in the comments. I think that person has actually encountered, you know, someone in a spiritual battle before, someone who is possessed and they knew, you know, it's trying to get her hurt. 